Welcome guys, I'm Al. I'm Arash. And this is the Call to Whiskey. All, All hail, hail cow. cow. Today we're talking about the Sassanac. Wait, what you call me? Let's take a look. Welcome back. So today's whiskey is a blended scotch. We don't know much about this whiskey. Uh, what we do know is that it's a blended scotch, so we know that it has to be malt and grain. Mm -hmm. We know that it's a non-age statement whiskey. Uh, we know that the malt is 9 to 12 year old and the grain is 20 year old. That's kind of nice. Yep. And it's 46% ABV, so we can assume non-chill filtered. The E150, uh, we're going to assume E150? Yeah, I think we could assume that, you know, uh, for product consistency purposes, mm -hmm. I would say they put 150 in here, and I think we could further assume that is from the Highland area because you know Outlander, Outlander. yeah all right that makes sense mm -hmm. uh, it's a portion of this whiskey was actually aged in ex Moderna wine casks mm. and that's really all we know about this whiskey the I think the important thing about this whiskey is the history and where it comes from so cue the history time History time. Originally launched in 2020, the Sassanac Whiskey is a brand developed by the actor Sam Hewitt, best known for his role as Jamie Frazier in the popular TV series Outlander. Although this whiskey is not an official product of Outlander, those familiar with the countless books or TV series will know. The name Sassanac is Gaelic for an English person. No, sorry. Sorry. That's not how I see it. Sassanac. An English person, an outsider. Say it with me. Sassanach. Sorry, Sam, I'm not a native Gaelic speaker, but I don't interrupt you when you're filming Outlander, now do I? So move it along, Sam. As I was saying, the name Sassanach is an obvious reference to the nickname given to Claire, his character's wife in the series. But in any case, I don't care how you say it, Sam. That whiskey is beautiful. All right, let's take a look at the nose. I'm pretty excited about this. I wanted to get this bottle last year, but I they sold out before I had a chance to get my hands on it. I I ordered this one the moment the pre-order showed up this time. Smart man. Huh. I'm getting a medicinal tone associated to it. Really? I don't know about you. I you know. You know what it is? I th I think it's just because we just opened this bottle up that getting a little bit of the like high alcohol note and I think that high alcohol note is giving you a little bit of that medicinal note. Um, what I'm getting a lot of is like fresh fruit. Honey. Yeah, apricots. Apples. It's like a hint of cinnamon. Brown sugar. Brown sugar, peaches, oranges, like coconut. Mm. I got like a hint of coconut there. It's just a very nice like, almost like white wine kind of Nose note. Yeah, I think the initial one was the alcohol contact. Yeah. You said it's forty six percent. Yeah, and we and we j literally just popped this bottle open, so and there's very little uh, place for the alcohol fumes to go. Um, let's take a look at the palate. You're getting that honey and vanilla and cinnamon from the nose, uh, but I also got more almonds. Jasmine. 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 Okay. I'm tasting jasmine. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm having a. Sweet jasmine tea, almost mm. a little bit. I'm getting more like nutmeggy. I'm um, uh, um, on my palate. Mm -hmm. I could taste that as well. Mm -hmm. It's a light, light whiskey. I was expecting yeah. it to be a lot heavier, to be honest, with the um, uh, the Jamie Fraser background of this. You were yeah. expecting you're expecting something a little more Scottish, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't guess this is a Highland at all. Yeah, right. I don't see, I don't uh, taste no, any... No, Highlands are usually pretty, um, um, uh, pr pretty mild and like approachable. Uh, and I think when you think of Scotch, you think Isla, right? You're, that's right. You're, you're that's, think, that's what I'm thinking. You're thinking Isla, right? So That's a good point. I'm, yeah. I'm, my mind's on Isla right now. Mm -hmm. You're right. Um, I was looking forward to a briny, mm -hmm. sophisticated taste like that. Mm -hmm. And I got a, almost like a Japanese whiskey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really fun. Yeah. And, you know, it's, it's, it's like a vanilla custard, right? Like, it's just, it's a very nice, mild whiskey, but it's got a long finish. Mm. It's dry. Yeah. It's a got, little bit of dryness yeah, to it. Yeah, it's got a long finish. It's got no burn almost. Mm. It's very smooth. Mm. Like, yeah. this is, if this was a whiskey associated with the show officially, Yeah. It would win over all the fans because it doesn't <laughs> yeah. offend anybody. No, it's not offensive at no, all. No. It's very light. It's very flavorful. It's uh, it's not 
strong as in the alcoholic strong mm. flavor you get mm. sometimes. And it's got a beautiful uh, finish to it, I think. Mm. Stress some water. A little too thin. Uh, I think that 46% was perfect. Mm -hmm. I don't think uh, I don't think water is gonna then add, an, add anything to this. I would uh, like to try it on some of the uh, rocks. Yeah, let's go for it. I can't say I like it with a water. Mm -hmm. uh, it just breaks up the flavors a little too much for yeah, me, yeah, yeah. and it softens out. But with ice, I feel like I'm having a cocktail. Mm. A little bit more of that toffee came out on ice and that citrus. Neat was perfect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, neat, neat was perfect. Not strong, yeah. not overpowering, mm -hmm. not too flavorful. The uh, the nose was subtle as well. Mm -hmm. um, it had yeah. a lot of sophisticated flavors. Yeah. Uh, I, I really like this. Yeah. So what's the price on this bad boy? Uh, it's currently a hundred to hundred and ten dollars, and it's pretty pretty standard everywhere I've looked. Uh, okay. there, there, there's not a lot of price gouging yet because <laughs> I don't think that I don't think there's a lot of places that have gotten their hands on it to gouge it. Um, so it's you know relatively hard enough to get your hands on, but all the prices are pretty um, pretty standard at a hundred to hundred and ten. Yeah, I think it's about ten to twenty bucks over price at that mm -hmm. price, mm -hmm. and which isn't saying much. Uh, the fact that it's associated potentially with the yeah. series you, you on either, TV, you either like Outlander enough to go find this bottle, or you're not finding this bottle. It's, you're, you're not gonna just gonna stumble across this and drink this because you you wanted to try a new whiskey. This yeah. is you like the Outlander series, and you went out and go find it. And if you do buy this whiskey, I don't think you're gonna be disappointed as a whiskey mm -hmm. drinker. It's uh, it's not something that uh, you would share with other whiskey drinkers as as far as uh, bragging rights and showing off. Uh, well, unless everyone you hang out with likes the Outlander series, then yes, by all means. <laughs> but I think this is going to be a great introduction yeah. for uh, non-whiskey drinkers because of the uh, subtlety associated yeah. to it. It's just it's just a very good in, uh, beginner or introduction whiskey for someone who hasn't tried whiskey too much. Mm -hmm. At least that's what I think. It's a beautiful bottle, great gift. And it's something that people will have over and over yeah. again without uh, being offended by the, the strong flavors that whiskey sometimes come with. Yeah. The bottle is gorgeous on this. It's unique. It's classic looking. It's sophisticated. It's not too long, which is in the standard for me. So it's going to yeah. fit in any shelf yeah. practically. If you really like the Outlander series and you like the writer, you know, I read the books. Well, I read three of the books, okay? And uh, there's like 15 of those books. <laughs> Right, like, I read three of the books. I've watched the TV series, and if you really like it, then yeah, this could easily go on your top shelf. I could get behind that. It's just a gorgeous bottle. Yeah, yeah. it is a nice whiskey. The content is nice. It's good enough to drink for sure. Not disappointed at all. Well, today's toast comes straight from the Outlander TV series. Here's to a long life and a merry one, a quick death and an easy one, a pretty girl and an honest one, a stiff whiskey and another one. All, all hail, hail cow. cow. The day is ours, Saturday.